Hello everyone, we are just about to start. Um, my name is Margaret and today here with me is Julia. We will run today the personalization uh, webinar. We will try to convince you that it's actually worth to invest your time. And um, Julia is our special guest. He, she's the head of um, our support, so she struggles with your question concerning personalization on an everyday basis. That's why I believe she's the right person to answer um, and explain why it's important. So um, our webinar will be composed out of two parts. You will see in a second how, uh, how we manage the topic. And then at the very end, uh, we'll have a Q&A section. So feel free to use it during the whole webinar. Um, if it happens that your question is not answered live, then no worries. We will still email you the whole explanation. So you'll get the response, that's for sure. Um, also, if afterwards you have some doubts or questions, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than glad to help you. OK, so let's start. Yes. Um, so we'll start with the deliverability part as the first one. Um, so as you know, uh, nowadays deliverability is something you can ignore because when you will do it, your messages will not be delivered to the inbox folder of your prospects or will not be delivered at all. Moreover, your messages may be sent to the spam folder, which is the worst situation you can face with. However, we will try to explain you how to mm -hmm. avoid this. So uh, generally speaking, we can divide personalization into two different uh, parts. The first one is a basic personalization and the second one is advanced. Basic personalization um, is based uh, on using uh, words, uh, snippets or custom fields uh, in our application. It can be the company name of your prospect, the first name or the last name. Mm, and of course, basic personalization is better than lack of personalization at all. However, nowadays it's not enough uh, to make your messages uh, be delivered uh, at all. So because of this, we recommend you to use uh, advanced personalization. And uh, it means that uh, we recommend to use the whole sentences or even paragraphs as a snippet. And in such sentences, you can use some unique information considering your prospects, uh, something that you can find on their websites, on the social media, on the LinkedIn, on their blogs. So you will give a feeling to a prospect that you uh, spend some time on finding specific information. Uh, and of course, uh, deliverability will be better. Why? because we all know about spam filters and we know that there is a system, generally speaking, we don't know exactly in which way such algorithms work. However, there is a system which counts the words in your copy. And in case you are using just first name in the beginning or at the end of your message or the company name, and the system counts, for example, each third or fifth or tenth word, then for the spam filters, your messages will be the same. So of course, there is a high probability of uh, Mm, uh, recognizing you as a spam sender. However, in case you will be using some sentences or paragraphs and the words will be different, so then you will have more higher chances to send your messages to the inbox, uh, inbox folder of uh, your prospects. That's very important what Julia just said because um, usually we see our customers deciding to focus on um, very basic personalization and right now it's a huge challenge but you should as much as you can invest your time even taking just deliverability into account um, to put forward to move to um, advanced personalization also it's important where you place your custom fields because um, that's very usual that you think mostly about your copy so the content itself um, but still you may try to think about custom fields and for example subject line um, when you send a message, that's one of the first things which is analyzed by anti-spam filters and by receiving service. So, you know, the, more, the biggest variety between subject lines is only always on your benefit. And that's also a benefit for your prospects. So, you know, that to trigger interaction, we have, again, this relation um, business and the, the business and deliverability perspective going together. So that's one part and that's very important. Um, but then we have business results and this is what majority of us focus on because let's face it, when we send cold emails, we don't think about the deliverability at the first place. So um, business results from our own experience and from experience of our customers, we know that, deliver, uh, that um, personalization boosts your open rates, your response rates. And sometimes we get the question, you know, is it really worth to invest um, in advanced personalization? Sure, it is. Uh, so as Margaret mentioned, based on our experience, we know that uh, advanced um, personalization 
uh, may have influence on your business results. From the beginning, you may have a feeling that um, uh, it's very difficult to find such specific information. It's very difficult to create different copy to each prospect. However, we know that uh, it's very important and necessary part of the whole cold mailing process. And uh, you need to uh, remember that nowadays cold mailing is not about sending hundreds or thousands of the simple uh, messages to your prospects. It's about finding something special. Uh, so then a prospect will have a feeling uh, that, okay, I will answer. And very important in the whole process is um, that even if prospect will not be interested in your offer, in your product, uh, uh, then he will be able even to reply you, thanks, I'm not interested. And then the engagement rate of your mailbox and of your domain will have high reputation, which has a uh, very big influence on deliverability. So basically such two aspects, business results and deliverability uh, are um, very um, like the same mm -hmm. and uh, have uh, a lot uh, common things. So uh, we recommend you to um, use uh, and to have a look of uh, such a uh, whole uh, aspect. And also it's um, when you think about it from just the perspective of simple psychology and uh, we tested it and we, we really know that it works. You know, when you send cold emails, probably you are about to establish a business relation. So in fact, you're asking about very valuable thing because you're asking the other side to sacrifice some time to respond to you, to analyze what is in common, can you work together? And um, you know, the feeling of the other side usually is better, is simply more keen to respond if you put some effort. So um, the person does not want to look for what is there for me. It should be given in the sense that if you, for example, check out blogs or LinkedIn or even Twitter, and then put some phrases or I don't know, just recall like, hey, in a related tweet, you mentioned this and that, and my offer is something similar, so maybe we can work together. Um, that's easier message to respond to. And um, that's simply giving someone, you know, that's my offer and that's for you. And I know that because I've checked it. Um, so try to think from this side. And of course, um, we do not say that it's not a lot of work. That's definitely big research to do. To do. Um, but we know that it works. So that's why we want to encourage you to do it. And also we wanted to show you how it works in our system. If you are um, newbies of Woodpecker, that's probably the part which is especially useful for you because you will see how we manage this and how our, our app helps you um, with personalization. So okay. we start with this. Yes, so each process is started with adding CSV file to Woodpecker. So here you can, have, you can see a view uh, while adding uh, an important CSV file. So in your Excel document, you will have a field with information about your prospects and also the same fields we have in Woodpecker. So here you can see it's uh, an email, first name, company name. So there are snippets or custom fields inside our app. Also very important information that instead of uh, that, um, you have such email, first name, company name, and also you have 15 snippets without any name. So you can use them for advanced personalization in case you want to add some specific information and we do not have uh, the exact name inside our app. Um, and remember to match the proper fields in Woodpecker uh, with uh, your data in the Excel file to avoid the situation when instead of uh, first name, you will send the last name uh, of your prospect in the message. Uh, and also, um, uh, very important information, our system will not allow you to send any message in case some snippets will be empty. So here you can uh, see a view uh, from our um, campaign. Uh, all prospects that will have empty uh, snippets uh, will have a two-check status inside our app. And you will see with a, a red color the field that you will need to uh, fill out and uh, you can uh, fill out them manually, or also you can uh, add CSV file to our system one more time while using an update option, and then all informations will be added. But do not be worried mm -hmm. in case some informations are not added to the system, because Woodpecker will not send any messages. So that's, that's very imp important information for you. Don't be worried if you use advanced personalization or you use multiple snippets, nothing without personalization will go out. So um, it will be in two checked up. Remember that you can always edit it manually. So that's 
a tip for you if you prefer to check it. And um, that's, that is to give you a notion that in case you don't have snippets, so when you just create a copy, write it, it looks like this. So that's a simple example which we created for the purpose of um, this webinar. It's like a very basic one. So it starts with hi and then using first name. Um, then just a sentence to start the conversation like, I'm reaching out because I noticed that your blog post and then as a snippet we use um, the address of the web page. So like simple URL which redirects to blog or whatever other page you prefer to go to. And then snippet one is a comment. So for example, we say that um, I think that it's very insightful and I see that you struggle with something because you've mentioned it in your blog post. So um, then we can start, move on. So it's like, it seems to be focused on, and then you may add another sentences under snippet two. Um, and then just simply refer to the company, like, hey, your company may be interested in our automation product, or you don't have to mention product at all if you prefer to just settle the relation and be like, hey, maybe we can talk this through. So you just simply use it from um, the panel above you see, and then you just implement it. And in the infrastructure of Woodpecker, we exchange the snippets for the text you included in your CSV. Exactly. So uh, now you can see the view when uh, without any snippets. So there is a preview uh, from the campaign where you can check if all snippets are placed on the proper uh, place. Uh, and also you can uh, read uh, copy one more time uh, because uh, when you are using advanced personalization and different paragraphs to each prospect, so then you will have a chance to recheck if everything is look like okay. Mm, okay. So also from the preview, uh, there is the second place where you will be able to see if all snippets are added properly. So remember uh, when a prospect uh, will not have uh, needed uh, custom fields in your database, from the preview, uh, you will be able one more time to recheck uh, how the copy will look like. And of course, with a red color, there will be a signal that something is not okay and you need to add uh, proper information. So just to wrap up, you have two places where, where you can check if everything with your personalization is going fine. It's two check section. You will have this red dot out there to just notice that, okay, something is missing here. And then it's a preview. So once you just put another prospect and another prospect, you see the content and okay, like custom fields are missing here. So you have two options um, to manage that part. And um, as we mentioned, um, advanced personalization is a, it's, it's a key player right now. So um, we believe it works. And that's why we gave some um, example in here. So it's a longer snippet in our prospects um, view from the campaign. Yes, so here you have view from our prospect database. And here you have an example when we are using the whole sentence as a snippet one. Uh, also, uh, remember that there is no limit uh, if we speak about the words that you can add as a snippet. Uh, so you can add even the whole article or a lot of paragraphs. Uh, moreover, um, you will be able uh, to make uh, such field uh, where you have the whole sentence a little bit bigger because by default the snippet is look like as we have here on the uh, presentation as a snippet too. So it's like a small place, but you can make such window bigger to see, yes, uh, here you have an example to see the whole sentence or for example, the whole paragraph that you are added as a snippet. Uh, so uh, one more uh, chance to recheck uh, that uh, all informations are uh, adding in a proper way. And also it's, it gives like spreadsheet like sense of feeling um, when it comes to design it's because we wanted to give you something what is easy and accessible. So you can use it very intuitively, just type it in. If you want to edit it, that's a field you can do it. If you want to um, stretch it to see the whole content, that's also perfectly fine. Um, and we just wanted to show you because that's, that's the feature we believe may help you when you manage longer sentences or even the whole paragraphs, which is a great idea if you can collect that much information about your prospect. That's something what definitely gives you a plus um, once you send it and once the prospect replies. Okay, so um, that was our part. We believe we showed you some um, slide tips about personalization, but right now we would love to hear um, what are your questions. So we will start with Q&A section. Just let me go there. Okay, so let's start um, with the first one. The first one is more general, but let, let's try it. Um, why deliverability is important? 
Okay, so as a head of technical support team, I am absolutely convinced that deliverability nowadays is very important. And here you have a great example why. So imagine a situation when you're investing time in collecting information about your prospects, in collecting database in general. Uh, you're investing your money in having a tool for sending call emails, for creating a copy. But when you start to send your message, they are not being delivered to the inbox folder. So generally speaking, it doesn't have any sense at all. As Margaret mentioned during our webinar, a lot of people are um, focusing only on business results, on answers uh, of replies uh, of prospects. However, technical settings, a proper warming up of your email account and of your domain before you will start the whole cold mailing process is also very important. Uh, personalization as a part of deliverability is uh, also uh, have very, very big influence on uh, the level of sending your messages. So uh, that is why we strongly recommend you uh, to check um, your deliverability before you want to start cold mailing. Uh, of course, as our customer, you can reach our support team and uh, we also will be able to recheck all settings uh, and to, to give you some tips uh, in case you will have some uh, questions. And also, if you need like very basic introduction, so you don't know where to start, you can always check out our previous webinar about um, deliverability. So feel free to contact us if you can't find it. Um, okay, so the next one, um, let's try this. Can you give us some more examples on advanced personalization? Okay, so um, it's basically up to you. I know, I know that that's not the best answer, but it depends what kind of social media or um, channels use your, your prospect use. So for example, you may try Twitter. Um, you may try, try simply, you know, catch up on latest tweet or LinkedIn publication. It's whatever works for your business, um, for industry you're targeting. So basically try to recall, for example, like, hey, you mentioned it, or hey, I've seen that you were attending the conference, which is about um, whatever content you may recall that's, that already shows that, okay, they did their research. Um, if your business is of a very specific character, then you may try to work on um, fora or web pages, which are precisely dedicated to the business you run. So that's actually the question to you, but any content you catch uh, from something different than just a web page of the company, it's a plus. Yes, and one more tip from our side, please try to make advanced personalization which is connected with your prospect, not with you. Because uh, it, the, mo the main idea is to send uh, unique and uh, interesting information to your prospect in general, however, not about you. Try not to send uh, too much information considering yourself and your company, uh, because uh, from our experience, such messages uh, will not give you a good uh, response rate for your messages. Okay, so let's take um, the last one. So um, Woodpecker will not send any messages when I forget to enter a snippet for only one prospect. Uh, no, Woodpecker will send uh, all messages with uh, uh, snippets that are added to the database. However, will not send uh, such one message uh, to uh, exact prospect, uh, which does not have uh, added uh, snippet or custom field. So you should not be worried that your campaign will not be sent at all. Uh, the system will just stop uh, one uh, message uh, from sending and uh, the prospect uh, will uh, have a two check status. We will show you how it will look uh, like inside our app. Okay, guys, so I believe that's all from the questions. Um, if you'll have anything in the meantime, feel free to contact us each time uh, you need our help or support. And also we have uh, our next webinar at the end of February. We will show some of Woodpecker hacks so you know how to do uh, things in a time efficient manner and also the manner which may be not the most obvious for you. So we will share our know-how in this regard. And also um, we would highly appreciate if you let us know how did you like it. So. Um, if you have also any ideas for the topics of the webinars or you would like to hear about something, that's also the good place to share your opinions. Julia, thank you very much for being here with me and thank you guys for participating. We hope you enjoyed it. So um, thank you. Have a nice day.